Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 2. So we want to find the value of x. So now from our equation here, the first thing I'm going to do is if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 5 to the power of x plus 2, that is going to equal 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 2. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to the power of x. So now I have 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to, these two cancel out, 5 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x, and we can think of a as 2 and b as 5 in this case, and x as m. So now I have a over b, so 2 over 5, to the power of m, so x in this case. And this is equal to 5 squared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 squared. Now, because I took the log, I can use an important property of logarithms, which states that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm, so this would equal b times log a. So in this case, log 2 over 5 to the power of x, I can move this exponent x to the front of the logarithm, so this would equal x times log 2 over 5. This is equal to, I'm going to do the same thing with log 5 squared, I'm going to move my exponent to the front, so I'll have 2 times log 5. So now I'm going to divide both sides by log 2 over 5. So then these two will cancel out. Now I'll be left with x is equal to 2 times log 5 over log 2 over 5. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 5. So log 2 over 5 here, this would equal log 2 minus log 5. Now, log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990. And log 2, this is equal to 0 0.3010. So now if I substitute these values in for log 5 and log 2, I get x is equal to 2 times 0 0.6990 over log 2 minus log 5, so 0 0.3010 minus 0 0.6990. Now, 2 times 0 0.6990, that is going to be equal to approximately 1.3980.
And now we are dividing this by 0 0.3010 minus 0 0.6990. And this is going to be equal to approximately zero, negative 0 0.3980. And now, if you divide these two, this is going to equal negative 3.5126. So x here is equal to negative 3.5126. Now, we are going to check this value of x. So to check our original equation, remember, which is right here, is 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 2. So this here was our original equation. Now, x here, this is equal to negative 3.5126. So we found our value of x. So now I'm going to plug in the value of x into our original equation. So now I have 2 to the power of x. So 2 to the power of negative 3.5126 is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 2. So 5 to the power of negative 3.5126 plus 2. Now, 2 to the power of negative 3.5126, this here is equal to 0 0.0876. And now, 5 to the power of negative 3.5126 plus 2 is equal to 5 to the power of negative 1.5126. Now, this is equal to 0 0.0876, which is equal to, now, 5 to the power of negative 1.5126 is equal to 0 0.0876, approximately. And because both of these values are equal to each other, we can write LHS and RHS. This, is, this means that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And because this is true, we know that our value of x is right.